Hi everyone, welcome back here on this channel. So for today's video, we are going to tackle about the importance of physiological, biological psychology and understanding behavior. So if you want to learn more about the world of visual biology and biological psychology, then just keep on watching. And also we are going to tackle about behavior too. So if you're curious about that, proceed to next. And nice to meet you, by the way. Good day. I hope you are having a great time on your end. So I chose the project-based experience, which um, instructed me to create a vlog that talks about the importance of physiological, biological, psychology, and understanding behavior. And later on, we are going to divulge ourselves into different areas of physiological and biological psychology, also with behavior, so that we'll be able to know more and know better about different concepts in psychology so that you'll be able to add it on your knowledge too. So if you want to learn with me, just keep on watching. All right, so let's start. So first things first is what is physiological biological psychology? Biological psychology, also called as physiological psychology, is the study of the biology of behavior. It focuses on the nervous system, hormones, and genetics. Biological psychology examines the relationship between mind and body, neural mechanisms, and the influence of heredity on behavior. Biological psychology, also called as physiological psychology or behavioral neuroscience, is the study of physiological basis of behavior. Biological psychology is concerned primarily with the relationship between psychological processes and the underlying physiological events, or in other words, the mind-body phenomenon. Its focus is the function of the brain and the rest of the nervous system and activities. Example, thinking, learning, feeling, sensing, and perceiving recognizes the characteristic of humans and other animals. Added to that, biological psychology has continually been involved in studying the physical basis for the reception of internal and external stimuli by the nervous system, particularly the visual and auditory systems. Other areas of study have included the physiological basis for motivated behavior, emotion, learning, memory, cognition, and mental disorders. Also considered are physical factors that directly affect the nervous system, including heredity, metabolism, hormones, disease, drug ingestion, and diet. The biological approach believes behavior to be as a consequence of our genetics and physiology. It is the only approach in psychology that examines thoughts, feelings, and behaviors from a biological and thus physical point of view. Therefore, all that is psychological is first physiological. All thoughts, feelings, and behavior ultimately have a biological cause. A biological perspective is relevant to the study of psychology in three ways. So first is comparative method that can help humans in search to understand human behavior. Second is physiology, how the nervous system and hormones work, how the brain functions, and how changes in structure and or function can affect behavior. And lastly, investigation of inheritance, what an animal inherits from its parents mechanism of inheritance or genetics. So this tree can help in understanding and explaining human behavior. All right, so next that we are going to discuss is what is behavior? Specifically, what is behavior and psychology? So behavior, the American Psychological Association defines psychology as the study of mind and behavior, an action, activity, or process which can be observed and measured. Often these actions, activities, and processes are initiated in response to stimuli which are either internal or external. The results of the studies on this must be objective, however, in order to be reliable and valid for scientific purposes, the concept of behavior in psychology. The psychology dictionary states that the term behavior means the activity of an organism interacting with its environment. Duran in Paris of 1999. The term refers to all activities in general or to a given activity. So now, 
the biggest question the million dollar question here is what's the importance of physiological and biological psychology in understanding behavior why do we have to study the physiological and biological psychology in order to understand more of the behavior why the human act the way they act why they do the way they do so there are many different ways of thinking about topics in psychology the biological perspective is a way of looking psychological issues by studying the physical basis for animal and human behavior it is one of the major perspectives in psychology and involves such things as studying the brain immune system nervous system and genetics the field of psychology is often referred to as biopsychology or physiological psychology this branch of psychology has grown tremendously in recent years and is linked to other areas of science including biology neurology and genetics the biological perspective is essentially a way of looking at human problems and actions. The study of physiology and biological processes has played a significant role in psychology since its earliest beginnings. Charles Darwin first introduced the idea that evolution and genetics play a role in human behavior. Consider an issue like aggression. The psychoanalytic perspective might view aggression as the result of childhood experiences and unconscious urges. The behavioral psychology considers how the behavior was shaped by association, reinforcement, and punishment. A psychologist with a social perspective might look at the group dynamics and pressures that contribute to such behavior. So the biological viewpoint, on the other hand, would involve looking at the biological roots that lie behind aggressive behaviors. Someone who takes the biological perspective might consider how certain types of brain injury might lead to aggressive actions, or they might consider genetic factors that can contribute to such displays of behavior. So those factors are considered and go hand in hand in understanding behavior and such fish, um, biological or physiological psychology plays a role on that one so now that we have tackled all of this you would or you might ask also um those who do or study bio psychology bio or physiological psychology what do they do so just to add to your knowledge so biopsychologists study many of the same things that other psychologists do but they are interested in looking at how biological forces shape human behaviors some topics that the psychologists might explore using the perspective include analyzing how trauma to the brain influences behaviors assessing the differences and similarities in twins to determine which characteristics are tied to genetics and which are linked to environmental influences exploring how genetic factors influence such things as aggression investigating how degenerative brain diseases impact how people act or studying how genetics and brain damage are linked to mental disorders so this perspective has grown considerably considerably in recent years as the technology used to study the brain and nervous system has grown increasingly advanced. Today, scientists use tools such as PET and MRI scans to look at how brain develop, drugs, diseases, and damages or how damages impact behavior and cognitive functioning too. So now you might also ask, from then on, what's the strength of using biological perspective biological perspective has its strength one of the strengths of using the biological perspective to analyze psychological problems is that the approach is usually very scientific so researchers utilize rigorous empirical methods and their results are often reliable and practical. Biological research has helped yield useful treatments for a variety of psychological disorders. For that reason, it is important to remember that the biological approach is just one of the many perspectives in psychology. By utilizing a variety of ways of looking at problem, 
researchers can come up with different solutions that can have helpful real world applications. Also, one of the subparts that we can um, include here is everything psychological is first physiological. The biological approach believes behavior to be as a consequence of our genetics and physiology. It is the only approach in psychology that examines thoughts, feelings, and behaviors from a biological and thus physical point of view. Therefore, all that is psycho psychological is first physiological. And also, in studying biological and physiological psychology, we are able to know as well different um, happenings in our brain, which is the most important thing to tackle too, because that is the center of our body. So there are methods of studying the brain. So according to the uh, reading materials that was given to us, so methods of studying the brain. So human brain is an extremely complicated piece of biological machinery. So the brain can influence many types of behaviors. So really brain has a lot to do with our behavior. That is the reason why we should study biological and physiological psychology. First is the neurosurgery. So that's the methods of studying the brain. So we know so little about the brain and its functions and so closely integrated that brain surgery is usually only attempted as a last resort. So this is this technique cured um, like for example the epilepsy, but in the process of hippocampus had to be removed. And also so now we know that the hippocampus is involved in the memory. That's one thing that the neurosurgery is most profound of using in studying the brain. Next is the EEG or electroencephalograms. So this is a way of recording the electrical activity of the brain. So it doesn't hurt and it's not dangerous. So electrodes are attached to the scalp and brain waves can be traced. So EEG has been used to study sleeping, which we are able to tackle on the midterm at the midterm period and it has been found that during a typical night's sleep we go through a series of stages marked by different patterns of brain waves so that's also the NREM the non-rapid eye movement and the REM or the rapid eye movement involves this. so if you didn't watch my other video I will link it here so that you'll be able to know more about sleep too and lastly given what's the brain scans so this is the most recent methods of studying the brain which developed using various types of scanning equipment hook up the powerful computers so the cat or the computerized atial turnography is a moving x-ray beam which takes pictures from different angles around the head and can be used to build up a three-dimensional image of which areas of the brain are damaged so 3d all right and also even more sophisticated is the pet the pet scan or the perception emissions um, tomography which uses a radioactive marker as a way of studying the brain at work so what the scan therefore enables researchers to do is providing ongoing pictures of the brain as it engages in mental activity that's to help our other methods of studying the brain so by all of that in conclusion finally a growing body of evidence suggests that biological factors such as genes hormone levels brain structure and brain functioning influence the development and trajectory of conduct problems in humans. So biological psychology, also called as physiological psychology or behavioral neuroscience, the study of physiological basis of behavior. So biopsychology represents one of the important ways of thinking about psychology. This perspective in psychology has allowed researchers to gain a greater understanding of how the brain and nervous system influence human behavior and by looking at the biological basis of human behavior psychologists are better able to understand how the brain and physiological processes might influence the way people think act or feel 
and to establish a point there are many different perspectives from which to view the human mind and behavior and the biological perspective represent just one of these approaches so by looking at the biological basis of human behavior psychologists are better able to understand how the brain and physiological processes might influence the way people think act and feel so this perspective also allows researchers to come up with new treatments that targets the biological influences on the psychological well-being of a person all right so that's the productive way of ending this video and this entire summer class in physiological and biological psychology and i will be attaching more photos on the next slide so that you'll be able to know more about um, also the reading materials that we uh, that I um, referred this video to and also some pictures just to you know for visual learners out there so that they'll be able to you know know more and um, hustle more about um, why is it important to study fish bio and understanding the behavior and I hope that this is also a productive way for us to learn new things and I really had a great time learning with you with different topics from prelim to finals and I hope this is not the last time and yep attaching next to also are the references to establish validity and credibility of the information that I am presenting to you. Alright, so I think that's it for now. Thank you so, so much for tuning in for every task that I did. Thank you so much. And I really had a great time studying more about the physiological and biological psychology perspective and were, was really able to get a lot of insights, information, concepts that I can relate to, or I can relate on other psychology subjects that i'm going to take in the future and also to miss ida thank you so much for an ending effort and also an ending love and passion for learning that you are also cultivating to us your students you are the epitome of what a great psychology student could be and to realize as well that we are forever learners and we are forever um the consumer of information so yeah i think that's it for now thank you so much for watching this video and i hope that you learned something and also i want to impart to you to stay curious to stay questioning about the this and that in a lot of areas in this lifetime because there is indeed more to life so thank you so much for watching this video and i hope you had a great time watching this as i did and stay safe, stay curious, stay healthy, and together let's learn, let's better ourselves, and keep researching. Bye. Thank you, thank you for watching.